more than anything else, it's the new tech. This is a software defined vehicle, which is actually a bigger deal than most people realize. So what is a software defined vehicle and does it really make a difference? Let's try to understand. An SDV, as the name suggests, makes software a central block of the systems and functionalities of a car. So things like the infotainment system, comfort and functional features and active safety features are all handled by advanced softwares. But why do we even need it? Given how cars have evolved over all these years with more and more electronics, a ton of dedicated ECUs, consequently more wiring and their inability to communicate between themselves is what has led to the development of SDVs. So instead of 100 isolated ECUs, an SDV uses a much reduced number of more powerful and centralized ECUs to control most functions. The benefit, even though it requires a complete overhaul, it greatly simplifies the electrical and electronic architecture with much lesser wiring, lesser weight and a much higher efficiency. What's more, the subsystems can communicate between themselves. So your car is going to be a smartphone on wheels. And while that doesn't sound very convincing, it has some benefits. Just like a smartphone maker can improve the camera of a phone after a launch by pushing an OTA update, similar can be done for say the ADAS system which might be too sensitive. Or say a car maker launched an EV but customers complained of a poor highway range. So they can optimize it and then push an OTA update. 